In this video, we are going to illustrate division using an example. So let's begin with the pen and paper method of division. In this case, 0, 0, 1, 0 is our dividend, whereas 1, 0, 0, 1 is our divisor. Now here, because we are performing division of binary numbers, the question will be in terms of zeros and 1. So here, what we have to do is simply we will compare the divisor with the dividend. If it is small, that is divisor, is smaller than the dividend question will get a 1 otherwise it will get 0 so firstly we'll compare these two now because this is smaller and this is greater it will be a 0 here and we'll subtract so we'll get 0 triple 1 0 itself now get taking a 0 bringing it down now we'll compare we'll shift right and compare the last least significant 5 bits with the divisor now because this is greater than the divisor we'll get one here and we'll subtract the divisor and now performing the subtraction we will get 0 1 0 1 1 bringing another 0 down we'll get 1 0 double 1 0 now comparing with the divisor we'll get as one again it will be 1 triple 0 1 will be subtracted 0 0 1 0 1 again a 0 and these steps will be repeated until the remainder you get is 0 or it is smaller than the divisor so we'll keep following the result and now you'll we'll get a 0 here 0 1 0 1 0 and a 0 Now, when we bring a 0 again and compare double one zero with the divisor, the remainder is smaller than the divisor. Hence, the division will be stopped here and this will be your final remainder. Whereas, this will be your final question. So, this is how division is performed using a pen and paper method. Now, let's come to the implementation of division using hardware where we have e a q and the sequence count as you already know in the previous video when we were talking about the flowchart of division the dividend was being stored in a q so we have the five more significant stored in a whereas five least significant bits in q that is five times zero initially e will be empty we have a divisor one triple zero one now begin with the flowchart first step was to perform shift left of EAQ now performing the normal shift left it's not arithmetic shift left it's only shift left so performing that we get 0 1 2 3 4 5 you get this after performing shift left you need to check the value of E if it is 0 or 1 if it is 0 we need to add the 2's complement of B to A that is 0 4 times 1 should be added and after this addition you will get a result 1 1 0 1 0 1 after performing this step you need to check the value of E again if it is 1 or 0 if it is 1 you will set the value of qn that is the last bit of q to 1 so now your q will be 0 0 0 0 1 sequence counter we began was with 5 after setting the value of q to 1 your one step is finished and it is decremented by 1 and you'll get the value of sequence counter to be 4 now after this step you need to perform shift left again that means e will be set to 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 now we need to check if value is 0 or 1 because it is again 0 we'll add 2's complement of b 0 4 times 1 
and you'll get the result 101001 now again the value of e is 1 we'll set the value of q and to 1 so we'll get 00011 and now after doing this your another step is complete so sequence counter is again decremented by 1 now again shift left has to be performed you'll get 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 now again the value of e is 0 adding again to complement of b to a you'll get 0 to 4 times 1 and the result will be 1 0 0 1 1 but this time the value of e is 0 so we'll simply add we will not set the value of q and to 1 this time we'll simply add b to a so here we are going to add b and we'll get the result 0 1 0 1 0 and a 1 here and with this again a step is completed after this you will again perform the shift left and you'll get 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 now what we are going to do is we are going to check the value of e now because it is 0 adding 2's complement of b to a will get 0 4 times 1 and the result will be 1 1 0 0 0 and 1 because the value of e is 1 we will set the value of q n to be 1 so you will get 0 1 1 0 1 with this again a step is completed now again shift left has to be performed and you'll get 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 now because the value of e is 0 adding 2's complement of b 0 4 times 1 you will get 1 0 1 0 1 and a 0 here now because you're getting a 0 here we'll add b to a that is 1 4 times 0 1 after adding you get 0 0 1 1 0 and after this another step is completed and the sequence counters value is decremented by 1 and you get a 0 that means the number of steps to be performed are finished the steps are to be performed until you get the sequence counter to be 0 after that the value stored in A that is this value is your final remainder and the value that you get in Q is your final question. So this is how division is implemented using hardware. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you.